think uh, in, in harvesting the enormous opportunity before the channel membership, Robert, I would point to probably a few things. Um, do what you guys do best would be the message to the membership. The transitions, the nimbleness, the versatility to bring value to their customers first and quickly has been a hallmark of the channel for decades and continues to be. We've seen it in the last two uh, server processor transitions that we've done. We expect to see the exact same thing with the Xeon E5 that was recently launched by Intel. I expect that ramp will be very precipitous and very quick in the channel. The emergence of a desktop enthusiast segment and the seemingly boundless demand for people who want the absolute creme de la creme of capability and performance is really not quenched yet. And many of the channel members are working real hard to harvest that opportunity and I applaud that and encourage them to do more. And then third, the emergence of all-in-ones is, is yet another channel opportunity, probably to your question, of the three, probably uh, the most untapped at the, at the moment because we're just really getting into our stride of having building blocks that are channel-friendly in the all-in-one space. So enormous opportunity to harvest the data center, both in compute, storage, and networking. Enormous opportunity to continue to lead transitions and drive technology into the blood, the thirsty enthusiasts and gamers of the world on the consumer side. And then really let the all-in-one opportunity blossom. You sprinkle Ultrabook in there, you sprinkle SSDs in there. We think we have lots of building blocks for our channel membership to use to harvest what we think is a very, very strong demand year. I think it's it's a story, it's about the experience about the use model in, in the office. Um, we've seen some be very popular in uh, a myriad of segments um, uh, where touch is popular. Uh, so in, in an office environment, architectural, legal, uh, medical, for example, we've seen uh, some folks deploy all in ones replacing um, traditional desktop PCs. We've, we've seen, again, as you say, as the applications are there and the price points are there, uh, we've seen this, the form factor be very, very uh, popular. Much less, much less uh, heat, much less noise with, with really good work on the acoustics. Uh, allow for just a, a, a more pleasurable overall experience. Uh, again, depending on who's making the decision purchase decision for those small, medium, or large businesses, uh, cost is always a factor, which is why we work very hard with, with all our customers, including the channel membership, to be able to deliver the best experience affordably. And I really think the, the engaging nature of, of Windows 8, of touch, and, and we're absolutely committed to deliver the best Windows 8 experience on Intel architecture-based products like All-in-Ones, I think we will see another resurgence in that, and as, as businesses adopt those kinds of use models and experiences, who knows? We'll see how many all-in-ones get deployed uh, in, in enterprise. I think they, they really do understand that it is one of a handful of key elements that continues to emerge as, as a very customer-driven desire in their, in their personal compute device. It, it, it's, it's why Ultrabooks will be incredibly popular as they uh, roll into the marketplace. It explains a lot of the popularity of tablets, uh, and, and we look for that sleekness and that uniqueness of design, uh, just as we do any accessory in our lives, mm -hmm. our cars, our TVs, our appliances at home. Uh, these things become more and more critical pieces of your life, and they're a reflection of you, and we've seen a lot of style and a lot of uh, uh, focus in that space. As we work with the channel, on products like Ultrabook and like All-in-One, our building blocks absolutely need to take that into account. And the channel is well aware of the role that plays with their customers, I think. <laughs>